Hey guys, welcome back to Dormer Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Sandland for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i37100U with the Intel HD 620 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory, and I've noticed something right off the bat of this damn game. The scaling doesn't work. <laughs> So, I've actually dropped this down. It's not saying 720p, but I'm actually doing 800 by 600 on the lowest preset, and, well, nothing good has come from this. I found myself realizing no matter what I do with the settings, even when I use the config file, it kind of stays the same. It says around this 26 FPS mark. It was doing the same thing at 720p. Even though the, GP, the integrated GPU is completely maxed out, it still doesn't work for some reason. Oh well, that's how it works with integrated graphics sometimes. Now this gives you an option to use DirectX 12 or 11. I chose 11 because 12 had too much stutters in it. 11 has less stutters. 11 is definitely better. Now, will this stutter because it's integrated graphics? Probably all the same, but hey, it'll be a sweet right up until that point. You see, the way less stutters than DirectX, DirectX 12 on this game is probably going to be an issue when this actually comes up. People are going to complain about DirectX 12, I can tell you that now. If they don't fix it, because it's clear to me DirectX 11 is definitely the way to play this. That optimization for DirectX 12 sucks. Don't use, don't use DirectX 12 if you have integrated graphics, don't do it. It's not worth it. But all in all, the performance isn't the worst. I mean, we are still getting cinematic frame rates for the most part, and well... It's playable. It's running. You know? We are running on an SSD as well, so keep that in mind. The game boots up really fast, so there's not much issue there. There's no texture loading or anything. Give me that. Give me that mech right there. I'm about to cause mayhem, fool. But this was requested to test on integrated graphics, so I'm like, hey, hey, that random guy uh, that asked for me to test this, here I am testing it right now. It runs, but um, I probably could tweak it, but I thought, you know what, this is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is fine. Until the game comes out, we'll test it again when the game comes out. But until then, yeah, this, I mean, it runs. Once again, it runs. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. The CPU is definitely being pushed as well. 70% on CPU usage. Not great. But it also does go to show that this CPU isn't very heavily... It isn't heavy like that. But yeah. It might turn out to be useful later. Take you by surprise, just stay calm and try to get distance from them. And then run away. Running in a blind panic gives them more chances to hit you in the back. Assess the situation calmly. Is the leader of the raptors. More aggressive than ordinary raptors. And they breathe fire. I really cannot recommend fighting it unarmed. bodies can't digest a lot of them. And then there's others that are downright poisonous to us. 
<laughs> Humans just have weak stomachs. So you demon stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything? Impressive. tracks that's a sign that someone's been here before us following them might lead us to a useful location like a village or town the car should also go a bit faster than it would on unpacked ground Demons usually spend their day. <laughs> Pray for true evil. Lead yourself like big pitfalls where people like to walk. someone's comic the other day some of my finest work if i do say so myself 